kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys. So it will be the part two of my video series on the socket programming. So now we will start working on our Android application. So in our previous part, we had done this uh, this code for our server part, which we built inside the socket Android. Uh, I mean the Apache NetBeans IDE. Okay. So now we have the server that is running. So let me just run it. Okay. So now it has an error. So what you have to do? You have to go to your project name then click on properties and then click on run and from here you have to write ab abc dot socket like the full package name and we have to write our class name my server okay so then press ok and then run the app and then you will see that okay so you can see the server is running at port number 5678 okay so now we are what we are going to do is we are going to create the java i mean app android application so here first of all we will write edit text match parent wrap content this will set the id as ed text okay and then we are going to write uh, uh, the code for the button so we will say match parent wrap content we will set the id as button and then we can say below this ed text and we write the text as send okay so now after this we are going to initialize this uh, on, i mean bind this view to our android main activity so here we can say edit text ed txt and then here we can say ed txt equal to find view by id r dot id dot id text so right after this what we are going to do is first of all we are going to uh, write okay so first of all we are going to create threads in order to uh, in order to write or send the code to our android application i mean the, in order to send the code to the java application which we send using the tcp socket so first of all we uh, we can create a new uh, class so here we can say private class and it will be my thread and we will write implements runnable okay so we will be running uh, we will be using the my thread why because uh, we cannot use the network operations in our main thread so we have to create an a, a background thread or a network thread since android 11 below so we were able to use the async task but now the async task class is deprecated so now we have to use this my thread so this is my way of using this thread so you can just follow me so after this we are going to override the method run and okay so now what first of all we have to write my thread we have to initialize our thread and then here we can say my thread equal to new my thread and in here we are going to fire send a, a blank message and then we can say my thread dot okay so here we can say new thread and inside that we have to pass on our thread and we can say dot start so now here we are going to write the code for the my thread part so first of all we need a volatile string so here we have private volatile string message then we will have to use a socket and then we are going to use data output stream okay so now we have to create uh, the constructor in order to uh, in order to receive the value or i think it is not uh, necessary so i will just click on remove it okay so here after this uh, message and uh, dos so first of all we are going or i think message will be empty okay and then what we are going to do is first of all we are going to write the code inside our run here so we will we can say socket equal to new socket and here we will write the ip address 
of our uh, desktop okay and also make sure that you are using the same network so that's otherwise it will not work so and the sir, port number will be 5678 okay and then it is showing us error so right click alt enter and click surround with try catch block so after this uh, we initialize the socket we are going to use the data output stream so we can say dos is equal to new data output stream and inside this we are going to use socket dot get output stream all right and then we are going to use dos dot write utf and here we are going to write the message okay so now we can pass on our message and then we can close the dos and we can flush it so here we can say dos dot close and us dot flush and we can now close the socket as well okay so after this we are going to create a new function and that will be after run we are going to use a function public void send message and in here string message so and here we can say this dot message equal to message and we can call the run run function here okay so now that's our application uh, our code is complete now just we need the on click event on this send button so here we can say public void send message okay send uh, button click send and here now we are going to write okay so here we first of all can say string message equal to edit text dot get text dot to string and then we can simply call the thread my thread dot send message or set my params okay or i think yes it should be send message params param and then we can simply call it like this and here we can pass on the on the message here and finally we can just click on copy it and use the on click event of the xml and we paste it here also make sure that you you set the permission internet and access network state okay so that's how it works so now we will connect my device with the laptop all right so now my uh, device is successfully uh, connected with my laptop so now we will just run the apps to check the output and we have this here okay so now we can here we have the output as this one and now our application is running and let me write something like hello and i click on send okay so now my app has crashed so let's see where it has crashed okay so now i forgot uh, one thing that we have to use the strict policy so strict policy mode because it cannot use it so for this we can write go here and write strict mode dot thread policy policy equal to new strict mode dot thread policy dot builder dot permit dot permit all dot build okay and then we can say strict mode dot set thread policy and we can pass on the policy here so now we will run it again and this time it will work okay also make i open the output as well and i write hello and i click on send let me just run it again server is five six seven eight let me see 
five six seven eight. Okay, so I forgot to write the IP IP address. So for the IP address, we can click on CMD and I write IP configuration and we have one nine two one one six eight. So here we can write one one nine two dot one six eight dot hundred dot two. Okay, so we can now run the app again and it's now working and let me open the output as well and now if we write okay and i click on send okay, let me just okay so it's it was not uh, running so now it's running five six seven eight so if i write hey and uh, there you can see we have received the message and then here we can write how are you and we click on send and there you can see how are you and similarly for all of the other messages as well so there you can see we are able to send the messages here all right guys so i hope that you have understood like how to send the data using the tcb sockets so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel